Hello and thank you for joining us for another episode of the Cuffware video series. I'm Chris Auna, the founder and creative director of Cuffware.com. Today we're briefly going to look at some of the basic styles of shirt collars and shirt cuffs. Let me ask you this. Are you often confused about all the different styles of shirt collars and which one looks best on you? If you're buying a shirt as a gift for your husband, brother, boyfriend, or dad, do you often wonder which style of collar would look best on them and how to find it? And what about your shirt cuffs? Do you prefer basic, adjustable, formal, or maybe a combination of each? Well, today I'm gonna to walk you through some of the basics of all the different styles of shirt collars and cuffs so you can have a better understanding of them and learn which one works best for you. Let's get started. Let's start with the cutaway collar. This style is most popular in the UK and this is the widest of the spread collars and is meant to be worn with a tie with a wide knot. Here we show David Beckham wearing his cutaway collar. Next we have the spread collar. Typically this is most flattering if you have a narrow face and works well with a Windsor knot. Here's a shot of Pierce Brosnan where he looks great in his spread collar playing James Bond. The most popular style of collar is called the forward point which is also known as a straight point or narrow point collar. Here we show an example with Cary Grant in North by Northwest, one of my favorite movies wearing the forward point collar. Next we have the snap tab collar. This is where tabs fasten under the collar designed to hold the collar points in place. This style was super popular in the 20s and 30s. The snap tab collar is making a comeback lately and you'll see Daniel Craig sporting this style in the new James Bond movie Spectre. The club collar or rounded collar was first introduced in the mid 19th century as part of the uniform of Eton College. It was made popular by symbolizing exclusive memberships. We show Frank Sinatra here sporting one of his club collar shirts. The button-down collar is for a more sporty and casual look. This style is generally worn without a tie, however designers are promoting dressier versions. Here we show George Papard in Breakfast at Tiffany's in a button-down collar with a tie. Lastly we have the pin collar. This unique collar style connects the two points of the collar with a metal pin. This gives you a great classic look while it lifts up your tie knot. John Slattery looks great in his pin collar shirt playing Roger Sterling in Mad Men. Now let's start with the shirt cuffs. The barrel cuff is the most common style of shirt cuff and can come with a single or double buttons. Very simple and works for most occasions. There is also the adjustable barrel cuff. This has two buttons to adjust the tightness of the cuff. This comes in handy if you decide to wear a chunky watch. Next we have the convertible cuff. We're seeing a strong trend in this style lately. This is a traditional barrel style cuff but also has an extra hole, so you can wear cufflinks as an option. Lastly, we have the French cuff. This is my favorite style of shirt cuff. The French cuff is a double length cuff that is folded back and joined together with a cufflink. This is a great opportunity to express a sense of style and personality. Although there is still an association with French cuffs in formal occasions, French cuffs are now used for everyday wear and they're a great way to dress up your outfit. Thank you for joining us again this week. Don't forget to check out the blog section of our website at cuffwear.com. This week I share with you my top five favorite places to buy custom tailored shirts in Toronto. We'll see you here next week and don't forget to dress up the moment.